criteria. Let's see the chat, man. 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 Alright, host to host this event and I'm not alone, I'm with my friend Victor. Alright, yeah, my name is uh, Victor Kankomba, popularly known as T4T4. So I'll be the uh, other presenter for the show. <laughs> so at, the, at this particular moment, we are about to go into the next session. Indeed, and this um, is a, an official, uh, rather, let me just say, the beginning of everything where we get to display our participants for the day. I just want to um, believe that each one of us knows very well why we are here. We are reflecting on the 56 years of our independence. We keep celebrating, and indeed, um, this occasion is um, a youthful in nature and knowing very well that our future belongs to the young people outside us, but um, uh, above that category. And tell me, please, what's the other one of the A bigger hand, please. And an apology for starting a little late. We pray that God will help us just do things as quickly as we can. The time that we've been waiting for has come and the time to present our participants for the day. We always, or rather let me just put it that as it is. For this occasion, two participants have been brought in from every province and uh, these are coming here to showcase uh, their uh, talent and um, and also their future prospects with regards what they think about this country and their participation. So let's welcome our participants as they walk in. Our participants, please, it is your time. Thank you. 
thank you so much even for everything you plan to do for us today. We also have Margaret. Margaret, please lift your hand. Let's, let's clap for Margaret. She's our, our second judge for the evening. We have Shings with us. There he is, a big hand for him, please. Due to circumstances unforeseen, Madam Maureen Monawasa is unable to come and uh, be with us, but we have Musa Mazala who has come to um, represent her. Musa, lift your hand, please, and uh, we want to celebrate your presence. A big hand for Musa, please. Awesome. So, we are actually going to have a good time, I know for sure. And it is very important also to have interludes of uh, music because this is a celebration in as much as it's a contest. So we're going to have our um, first, um, our music coming from um, Mugande, Mugande, Niger boy. And the Mugande, are you the one? Please a big hand for our brother. Mugande. Thank you everyone, thank you. my brother from another mother, a multi-talented uh, artist, is going to perform for us a song. Okay, uh, before we get to another performance, we have our participants ready to introduce themselves formally. So they are ready. Let's welcome our participants once again.
His name is uh, Braji. So, can we kindly give him, give him a round of applause as he comes to perform, encourage him with some overwhelming encouragement. Braji, where are you? I was right there, but what you do now, bro, I've got a bed. What you think you do? What you want to do? Yeah, oh. Let's go, let's go. 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 You performing for us on the show. Okay, so uh, my name is T4T4. For those of you that don't know me, so I'm uh, here as your host. I'm the shortest in the family of 10. And so I come here as your host for the show. Thank you. 
One more contestant, the men.
Thank you very much. My name is Mteta uh, Chinyanta. I'm representing the Soli people of Lusaka. They are the indigenous people of Lusaka. Chieftainess Muka Mambo blesses the first seeds and this commences the planting season. I'm wearing this outfit as a sorcerer. The vociferous white beads that I'm having and the blue beads that I'm having represent beauty. As long as this, it's a symbol of beauty. Like, the Soli people love dust. The indigenous people of Lusaka, that's where the name Mwalusaka comes from. A, a, a short history, Manda Hill. That's where the first chief was buried. No wonder it's called Manda Hill. I would like to thank everyone for allowing me to talk. A round of applause from Teta Maxwell. That is Teta Maxwell representing Lusaka province, all the way from Lusaka province of the Soli people. Representing Lusaka, Chombe District of Muka Mabongo Mesha 2. Um, I'm doing the initiation ceremony, which is called Malala of a Girl Child. It is, the girl child is taught in the house of how to respect elders outside, and if the girl is of age, it's called Moye. The bark of the tree which I'm putting on here represents the strong, how strong a girl will be out there and how she's going to take herself to the people out there. Thank you. You already know. Thank you. The next person will be coming in also from Wakula province. I'm representing the Bengal people from um, Rapala province and that is Mwewa. Uh, the Mtomboka ceremony is uh, celebrated every last week of July and the uh, ceremony uh, uh, signifies victory. Thank you. That is Margaret and there she is, all smiling and glad. The Chikumba vest I'm putting on is as a bulletproof. The shoe that I have with me. No, I knew I was going to be a The shoe that I have with me is a symbol that protects the holy people from their enemies. The bow and arrows. And this is how they do their dance. No, show us the dance. Show us the dance as we are about to see a Woni warrior doing her dance. Where are we doing? Where are we now? Where are we now? Where are we now? That is Sabano Kapanoi representing Eastern Province of Zambia. Give a round of applause as she walks out of the stage doing what she does. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is George, representing Eastern Province, uh, in particular the Ngoni people. And this costume represents uh, loyalty and the sub warrior. Thank you. So that's in Southern Province. And there she is, Abigail. representing the southern province, the Tonga people in particular. The outfit I'm wearing is, is only one at a ceremony that's called in Kolola, 
for the light, it was a ceremony that is performed with a lady or a young girl who has come of age and is now mature enough. I am going to perform a very short dance on how the lady or a young girl is supposed to dance. And this dance is that while the lady faces down. That is the dance, let us observe. From Southern Province, Donga people of Southern Province do it. And this thing tied around my waist 
is called Chiwamba. And this thing on my head are just feathers. So the Madaza, Chiwamba, the feathers and the beads are all used for attraction. Thank you very much. We are attracted indeed to that out all the way from Northwestern Province. I thought we were going to see a showcase of the uh, whatever dance to make it. But that is an amazing, amazing, amazing. So the next question is get to be there. Joseph. My name is uh, Josiah Satwiko, representing the Northwestern Province. The Northwestern province, Luvale people in particular. So this costume I'm wearing is ruled by the male Luvales who are between the age of 8 to 12 when they are going to the circumcision. Thank you very much. So that is showcasing her provincial costume. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Florence Kasumbalesa. I'm presenting Western Province, the people under Chief Nintunga. We wear this traditional outfit during the Komboko ceremony for the lovely people, not forgetting their staple crop, the cassava, which can be taken by each and every Zambian. Thank you. Amazing. Good evening everyone. I'm representing the Central Province and this costume is dressed by the same by the Lenji people when when the chiefs and, the, and their subjects come together and celebrate the ceremony called Kulambakuwalo under the under Chief Mukuni. Thank you. Get ready. Kabumbi. That means you have to leave the stage. But not just now. So uh, the first lady is Abigail. Round of applause for Abigail. She's made it to the top five. Abigail person, Messi Wale. Messi Wale. She has made it to the top five. Looking so glamorous. Messi Mwa. Second, third person, Cindy. The third person, Cindy. Congratulations for what has made it to the top five. And the third person, Stella. The third person, Stella. She has also made it to the top five in the blue glamorous dress. And the last, but not the least, Sapano Kapano. Ladies and gentlemen, are the top five for the event to the lady. A big hand, please, for the lady. We celebrate you, we are so happy that you have made it to this stage. Now we come to the men, those that have proved themselves this far. Um, this is my choice, actually.
Kenya and the people that surround us. <laughs> A big hand for Paul. My choice, absolutely. Let me pick another one. Um, I like Tetra's dress. I did like your dress. Come through your menu to the system because we've been struck with uh, the western type of culture that we're, we're learning stuff that doesn't benefit us in any way 
So I'll go for the education assistant. Good evening, Cindy. So, Cindy, Zambia is a very beautiful nation and it's uh, well known in the world despite its developing. So, what do you think our country, Zambia, is well known for to these other countries? Did you get that? Our country, Zambia, is well known for some other stuff that we have despite it developing. So what do you think our country is well known for to these other countries around the world? Thank you very much for the question. Thank you very much for the question. Well, I think our beautiful country is known for the natural resources. For example, the beautiful Victoria Falls. Thank you. Wow, that's a great answer from Cindy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much to our judge, we'll call Judge Musa, to come and do her questioning as well. Um, feel free to talk to George. George, come through. Good evening, everyone. Uh, George. Uh, oh, that is George. George, my question to you is, what do you think are the advantages of the multi-party democracy instead of the one-party democracy? Thank you so much for your question. Uh, the importance of the multi-party democracy is people are free to vote, people are free to do things that they think will benefit them and also benefit the country. Thank you. Hi, Stella. Uh, Zambia will, will be going to the polls very soon. Why do you think it's important? Zambia will be going to the polls, will be going to elections very soon. So why do you think it's important for young people to vote? Okay, so for us young people to vote, I think we, we are the ones who are growing and it's a, if we have the right to talk to what we want because the old people, they are not going to live for a long time to benefit from what we have in the country. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Jan Moza. Hope you are happy with the answers. Yes, and uh, we are just trying to, to check through. It's not just about bathing and dressing well. We need critical thinking as Zambians. We need to know exactly what we should do for this country. Judge Tayali, please come. Make your way here and do your checking. We're still at it. The Miss and Mr. Independence Zambia. Judge Tayali is coming and you we'll have to, to give him a chance to make Give a, make a question or give a question. Um, I think the choice of people, please um, check through. Good evening, Paul. Good evening. How are you feeling this evening? Uh, my feelings are kind of me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not feeling. But I think I'm happy. Yeah. Do you think you are winning? Uh, that's not the doubt. <laughs> okay, Paul, since you are you are the winner, um, I want to ask you, as a winner, if you go out there, what are you going to do as uh, Mr. Independence? Okay, uh, as Mr. Independence, I was uh, I was already thinking about that question. So as Mr. Independence, I was thinking, if the funds are going to be enough, I can uh, start uh, a modeling agency uh, to help young people, to inspire them uh, into becoming greater people. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Our next uh, contestant to the 
Copano, Copano, please make your way here. Hi, Copano, how are you? I'm great. Relax. Are you relaxed? I'm not gonna eat you. I just want to ask you one question. A very simple question. Which promise are you coming from? The Copper Belt. What is so special about the Copper Belt? We have lovely people from the Copper Belt and love working with people. That's why I will try out this stuff. It's been very great for me. Very great experience. And you are a wonderful person. That's my question. Thank you very much. I'm sure you got a center. I'm sure you are accorded a chance to be the president of the Republic of Zambia. Let them two things to do. What two things to do, do right as a president of the Republic of Zambia. Thank you very much. Two things I will do when I become president of Zambia. Um, being, being a geology student at the University of Zambia, and I know my country has a lot of minerals, I will, I will encourage my fellows to learn how to mine their own resources. The second thing that I'm going to do when I become a president, I think I'm going to shorten the time of office so that we can um, share ideas and allow other people to rule. Thank you. Um, our judges are not very 
in such a way that I can have an upper elevation of what my fellow youths want. And I know that my fellow youths want the same thing that I want, working hard and achieving what you want. Thank you very much. Awesome. I believe we have all participated, right? Our contestants, we all have answered our questions. This was not just for you, it is also, it was also for other young people here, present. When the questions were being asked, what were you thinking? What would you do in their position? So we don't look at this as a contest for them alone. You look at also as a youth, what would you do, given an opportunity to, to change the narrative of this country. Our contestants, you can go back, thank you so much. We are so happy that you have made, made it this far. Very soon we'll be announcing our winner, or winners I would say, and we want to wish our contestants nothing but the very best. The very best. Our judges have a task. The, the Miss Personality for 20 is Kabumbi. A round of applause for Kabumbi. She is the Miss Personality. And the Mr. Personality is Ferrari. So there is Kabumbi. There is Kabumbi and there is Ferrari. So those are our Mr. Personality and Miss Personality. They did their best, they did a very good job. From the bottom to the top. So for the for the fans, runner, female, Stella Kunda. And the third runner for male, Temba Panda. Can I see you coming out? Can I see you coming out? And then the second runner, female. We have got Cindy Chilupia. Second runner, Cindy Chilupia. And Miss Independence 
2019 coming to help us. Run up. Mel, we have Josias Atwiko. Josias Atwiko. That is the second run up. So, so the second runner for Mel is just Josias. So the first run up, the first run up should be crowned to Josias Aquito. And the second run up to Temba. Second run up to Temba. So don't crown somebody else, something else. First run up, Josia Sapito. Second run up, Temba Pan. First run up, female, Cindy Chirufia. Second run up, female, Stella Kunda. Second runner, female, Cindy Stella Kunda. And now, the Miss and Mr. Independence Zambia 2019, female. Drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. Who do you think it is, ladies and gentlemen? Who do you think it is? DJ, 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 DJ. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. So let us make it glamorous. So the Miss Independence crown goes to Abigail.
I've flown over to Zambia. Did you play that music? Yeah. 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 Baby, I'm gonna be shaking everything, baby. 